Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can sort by rearranging the columns in an Excel worksheet. Well, many people say, why would you want to do that? Well, if you want to use, for example, the VLOOKUP function, you need a discrete field, which is the employee ID in this case. It could be a social security number or any other unique value field. And you want to have that as the leftmost column in your data set. Now, the normal approach that people will take is they'll come over and they'll say, all right, what I want to do is insert a blank column. I'll come over here and I'll select this information and I'll cut it and I'll paste it over here. Well, that's too many steps. So let me show you a better way to accomplish this. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to insert a new row. We want to insert a new row. So I've selected by clicking over here on row one, I'm going to right mouse click and say insert and it's going to insert a new row. Now here is the order that I want to have the sort by. I want to have the employee ID be in column A. So I type in number one. Let's say that I want to have the department as column B. And I want to have last name as column C, first name as column four. And over here, I want to have the home phone as uh, the fifth column, the mobile phone as the sixth column, and I'll leave everything else in place. Seven, eight, nine. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to make a selection of the entire data set. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control A to select all of the data. On the data tab of the ribbon, I want to come over here in the sort and filter group and choose sort. What I want to sort by in the drop down is I want to sort by row one. So that's why it's so important that you make a selection of the entire group. So I want to sort by row one and then I want to come up into the options. Over here, in this case, instead of the normal sort from top to bottom going down vertically, I want to sort going across horizontally. And I'm going to click OK. And now when I click OK, there you go. So you see now that I have the employee over here in the leftmost column, the department, the last name, first name, etc., etc. Of course, now I can go through and I want to delete this um, extraneous column that I have over here. So it's an easier way, I feel, to rearrange your column order instead of inserting a column, copying or cutting and then pasting and then deleting. So there are a couple of key steps in there. Uh, you may want to watch this video two or three times just to go through and practice the techniques. And I'll look for you in the next tips and time savers.